Hi Jerks and welcome back to the Beer Jerk Beer of the Week drink along. Uh, once again uh, I'm Luthless as he's swanning around Europe drinking uh, delicious beers on the Bermondsey Beer Mile and exploring uh, the whole English scene at the moment. Um, and so you're stuck with me in a warehouse drinking another beer from Boat Rocker. I apologise for the audio quality this week, it is raining on the roof and it's very loud so hopefully that you, you guys can still hear me. Um, now Boat Rocker we talked about a couple of weeks ago uh, when we drank their XPA. Uh, however, what while those kind of uh, hoppy core range beers are uh, a brewery's bread and butter, uh, the spiritual uh, heart of Boat Rocker lies more in these traditional styles. And as styles go, none come uh, very much more traditional than the Belgian Triple. Belgian Triples have their origin in uh, the monastic tradition of Belgium where uh, Trappist monasteries like uh, Rochefort, Westmaler, Westfletteren um, and uh, Carmelite uh, produce uh, these styles of beers using their in-house uh, Belgian yeast strains and really it's a yeast dominated beer style that we're drinking this week. So when you um, uh, pick up this beer you should get a kind of really interesting kind of uh, herbal spice note, a little bit of clove and a little bit of pepper on the nose and then on the palate you get a really kind of fantastic um, honey character coming through from the malt that's backed up with a big kind of boozy sweetness um, and then um, on the back of the palate, that kind of spiciness is really singing. A little bit of kind of uh, orangey citrus um, pith coming through there as well. It's a really cool uh, style of beer because it's been brewed the same way um, across a, a bunch of different breweries for so long. Um, that, um, as I was alluding to earlier, each uh, Trappist brewery um, where, the, where the monks make the beers um, have developed their own yeast strains over time. And it's really interesting to pick up examples of Belgian triples from those breweries to really see the kind of different flavor expressions that you get from these, uh, the, these in-house yeast cultures that while you're working with a very uh, simple base for the beer of um, some uh, simple malts, uh, candy sugar, and uh, some noble hops, you really get that difference uh, coming out in the, in the yeast, the yeast strain, and the way that yeast is treated in the brewery. Candy sugar is a really interesting um, element of uh, Belgian triple and it's uh, used in Belgian quads as well. And basically it's a simple invert sugar syrup. Um, sugar and sugar water is um, mixed and diluted and then uh, cooked on a stove until um, it, it darkens to varying degrees. Now in those Belgian beers you can have lighter candy sugars um, through to kind of really uh, cooked, almost like burnt toffee uh, sugars in your beers like your Belgian quads. And what that does is it provides a really nice um, supporting note. It elevates the booze in the beer, which kind of provides that kind of body and sweetness that gives a framework for that yeast character to sit on. And it, it's a really cool process that um, you don't see used uh, in many other beers. Now, as I said, Boat Rocker are a fantastic Melbourne brewery who um, really love to brew um, this traditional stuff. And this, uh, once again, is a really uh, clean execution of the beer, uh, of the beer style, I should say. Um, yeah, it's a really uh, cool beer style to uh, dig into and uh, with lots of history to it. So recommend checking out um, some more of those styles and um, you know, a little bit more of this beer. If you are wanting to try some more beers from Boat, Boat Rocker, if you've enjoyed what you've tasted after this and the uh, XPA from a couple of weeks ago, then um, I recommend checking out our Boat Rocker mix case as well. We've only got a few of it left. I've actually got a special on uh, just for our members, so only those of you who will have uh, read uh, email from today and watching this video uh, will be getting this deal where our Boat Rocker 10 pack which is uh, $69 for a variety, variety box of 10 different Boat Rocker beers we're actually giving you uh, two extra beers in uh, that box if you order it by this weekend so instead of being a 10 beer box we're going to throw in an extra can of Faith and an extra can of the, the XPA from a couple of weeks ago so while stocks last I recommend uh, checking that out in the meantime, if you're enjoying the Australian beers that we've um, had a couple of lately, uh, check out the Trans Tasman Mixed Case. Um, we've got some stunning beers in there. We've got uh, 24 different breweries involved, 12 Kiwi breweries and 12 Australian breweries who've come together to produce 12 brand new beers for the box. It's $120, um, so about $10 a tin um, delivered uh, wherever you are in the country. Um, and if you go and have a sneaky look on the product on our website now, we've actually just published uh, the uh, beer list. So you can check that out. We've got some really cool innovative stuff going on. There's a Lichtenheiner, a black cold double IPA, a 
Bijo, a hazy, a navel orange farmhouse ale, uh, some Trans Tasman IPAs, um, a biscuit ale, and uh, a couple of big pastry sours. So it's a really cool, diverse box showcasing some of the most interesting and exciting uh, breweries from around Australia and New Zealand. In the meantime, uh, take it easy with this one. It's a slow sipper. Uh, it should get you uh, uh, sipping on that for a few hours this evening. And we'll see you next week. Cheers.